Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be in English, as promised. I asked everyone on Instagram what my next video should be in, English or Arabic, and you guys picked English. So today I have the beautiful Shema with me, who is my model, and we are going to be doing this sunset-inspired glam look. So hope you guys enjoy this look, and please keep watching. As skin prep, I'm taking the Sisley Sislea anti-age cream. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's the anti-age day and night cream. And I'm going to be applying it all over her skin and neck and as usual massaging it into the skin. That way it sort of wakes up her skin and increases blood circulation as well. Because Shema has beautiful skin I don't want to cover it all up so I'm going to be taking the MAC face and body foundation in the number C3 which is a beautiful golden um, yellow based shade. This is one of my favorite foundations and it is a cult classic you'll find it in pretty much every makeup artist's kit. And basically, it is a waterproof foundation, very thin, photographs beautifully, looks like skin. Um, it is made to be used on the body as well to perfect and hide any imperfections. So people use this in a darker color on their bodies, on their legs. It's transfer proof. I love it. But make sure you wash it well with a pretty good makeup remover once you're done because it could clog your pores because it's very waterproof. And I'm just applying that all over her skin with a brush. Um, I feel like this also works best with fingers if you warm it up between your hands and then apply it because it kind of gets a bit sticky, so it sets. And then you would need to powder it down because it's a very um, shiny finish, unless you like that look. For concealers, I'm taking the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NC30. This is actually one of my all-time favorite concealers way back when but um, I stopped using it for the longest time because I was discovering new things, but I really love this concealer. And lately when I've asked a lot of people what concealer they use, this one always pops up. So I'm just gonna be applying that with a beauty blender. For contour, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand in the light to medium shade. This is, I think, the first time I use this and I really like it. You can't, it's a great product for beginner contouring because you can't mess this up. It blends beautifully and leaves a contoured bronzed look. So if you're looking for a contour that's a bit expensive <laughs> but blends beautifully and um, looks pretty amazing, this is one to look for. The highlight version of this is pretty much my number one favorite liquid highlighter. So because the contour blends so effortlessly and beautifully, um, I want to bring back that cut definition with highlight. So I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks in the shade French Vanilla, which is matte, and putting it underneath the cheekbones to highlight her jawline and make it even sharper. Next, I'm setting everything with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Airbrush Powder. I think that's what it's called. It's an amazing powder. It's amazing for dry skin. It's amazing for all skin types. I wish they had a bit more shades, but I find the three shades very universal, which is the light, medium, and deep, or dark. Next, I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder, which is a truly universal powder because it really, literally has no color. You can use this on the darkest of skin, and it will not leave a white cast. I mean, obviously, you have to use it properly. But with Shema, I can bake with it, so I am going to be baking with it underneath her eyes and in all the areas that I want to highlight. And then once I'm done, I'm going to be dusting everything off with a brush. As an eyeshadow base, I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Quite Natural. I love this color because it mimics that natural like darkness around the eyes, but it's a very beautiful color. And I'm going to be using that mainly in the outer part of her eye. Outer half, does that make sense? Yeah, and underneath the eyes just a bit. And this is just going to act as a base for me when I put the shadows that I want to use. And then I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Ice to Mesmerize in the color Betty. Betty. That sounds so English when I said that. <laughs> and I'm going to be putting that on the eyelid. Again, acting as a base for the next shimmer shadow that I would want to put. I've been pretty obsessed with brown pencil liners lately, and this is the MAC Teddy Eye Coal, which is one of my favorites. If you want a less shimmery version, I would recommend the NARS Mambo. That is my all-time favorite pencil liner that's brown. And I'm going to be creating a wing as usual. And 
Next, I'm going to be taking one of my favorite neutral palettes. This is a very basic palette. You need this in your kit. It is the MAC Semi Sweet Times 9, and all the shades are matte. And I'm just going to run a bit of brown in the crease. And I'm going to take this MAC palette from the Chinese New Year collection and, and dipping into the peach shades, I'm going to be putting that in the crease and blending. And it gives you that beautiful diffused peachy pink crease. Next, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette in the Vintage Vamp, and I'm going to be taking the pop shade. So in each palette, there's a pop shade, which is the which is the pressed glitter shade, and I'm going to be taking that with my finger and applying it to the lid. That is the best way to use them, as um, as demonstrated by Charlotte Tilbury. And it really gives you that really sparkly, beautiful um, glitter, very fine, that kind of like catches the light every time you move. It's a stunning, stunning shade. And I'm going to be taking a bit of the burgundy maroon shades and putting them in the lower lash line and just a tiny bit over the pencil liner that I did. For brows, I'm going to be taking the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number four. And I'm just going to brush her brows up and fill in the areas that need to be filled. Just fill in the arch and lifting the brow a bit. For mascara, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Mascara and using it on the top and bottom lashes. And to contour, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Powder Contour Palette, and I'm going to be using the contour shade that's in the middle. And sort of going over the areas that I contoured with the liquid contour before. For lip liner, I'm going to be taking the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Cheat Lip Liner. And for this look, I'm going to be overlining her lips. Next, I'm going to be taking Penelope Pink by Charlotte Tilbury again and placing it all over the lips for that really sexy nude lip. And making sure we diffuse the lip color with the lip liner as well. And for blush, Charlotte Tilbury again. <laughs> the Ecstasy Chic to Cheek, Chic to Cheek, Cheek to Chic blush. This one has a bit of a glow to it, so I'm going to be placing it pretty high up on the cheeks and on the apples of the cheeks as well. One of my favorite highlighter palettes currently, this is the MAC Hyper Real Glow palette in the shade Get It Glowing, which is the more golden one. There is a more pink version as well. And I'm going to be highlighting the high points of the face and the bridge of the nose and the tip of the nose as well. Individual lashes, my favorite, are dull individual lashes in the medium um, length. And I'm going to be focusing that on the outer corners of the eyes to lift. Some final touches, and of course, MAC Fix Plus in the scent Coconut, which was the model's favorite. And you just want to spray everything, set it in place, and yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm working on brand new videos, so give me your suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!